Evening! <laughs> How are we doing, guys? But baked cod Alaska this evening. It's literally going to take me 10 minutes. So you're not going to be here very long this evening. 10 minutes, we're going to get it in the oven. It's going to be another 15 minutes in the oven. It's a really, really quick dish. So what I'll do, I'll prep it, pop it in that pan. All right, so if you're going to follow this one live or following it back, get your ovens on. All right, mine's at 220. I'll turn that down to 180. Okay, get yourself a big pan. Okay. Then we're going to chop an onion. Get your board, knife, let's go. Do you want to wait till a couple of meatballs come in? or? red. Yeah, can do. <laughs> oh, take it back a little bit. All right, Why don't you talk about your day? Why don't I talk about my day? Well, now you <laughs> said that, I'm going to go and pop a beer in the fridge. I'm cold when I finish. Um, talk about my day. Okay, so, the day has been uh, very productive. I have finished um, all but one Training pro all, all but one of the training programs for Plan X. I have been sat behind the computer for the last two and a half days. While the sun has been shining, it's been annoying. Come um, on, you did make an outside desk. I did make an outside hence desk. Hence your red face. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's been good. So we've got smashed out all the, all the training programs. Um, not one single program is the same, which I'm really happy about. Um, don't get me wrong, lots of them are similar. People have got um, similar exercises and whatnot but their schedules and actually what the, 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 the amount of things I'm asking everyone to do, every single plan is different, which is really cool. Um, obviously all the nutrition stuff is really um, bespoke and different. Holly works that out all on everyone's individual um, stats, BMRs and whatnot, uh, intolerances. Um, she's got the capability to um, establish all that kind of stuff as well, being a nutritionist, uh, which is really, really good. So that next group will start on Friday. Um, no, they don't. They start on Monday. They start on a Monday officially, yeah. Um, we've, we're potentially, depending on what the gyms do, we're potentially going to start another course in five weeks time. So if something like that interests you, um, our plans are very much tailored, like I just said, tailored to you, tailored to your circumstances. So I've rung every individual or most of them that have answered the phone uh, and asked exactly what kit and equipment they've got available, what their current regime, re regime is, are they working, what by best time is it for them to train. Um, so not only do they fill in their consultation form, but I also give them a personal call as well, just to kind of really get an idea of um, someone's personal circumstances. So that's been good. Okay. Okay. Let's start. Let's rock and roll. Okay. So I wasted three minutes there. <laughs> However, like I said, this is going to be, so guys that just joined, kind of wanted it to populate. Um, this is going to take about 10 minutes. So should be done. Effing should be in the oven by 13, uh, 6.13. So one red onion, guys. Um, that just pops a nice bit of colour into it. So peel that one. We're going to go quite chunky, like you would do a Mediterranean vegetable, so it doesn't need to be diced as such. It can be quite nice and chunky. Let's get that off. Oh, it's going to take me six minutes to get this off. Yeah. I need, I just cut my nails though, I need the longer nails. I've showered, I'm smelling all nice and fresh this evening. Makes a change. What do you mean? I'm always smelling nice and fresh. <laughs> Essence of man over here, you know. Who have we got with us then? Tell me. Tell me who's... We have got. Well, tell me all of them, but just tell me two of them. Uh, Siobhan Ward, Hello, Tim Siobhan. Page, Lawrence Siobhan Barnes. Siobhan's been delivering puppies today. Yeah, go on, two. Well, Lawrence else. Barnes. Lawrence. Hello, Lawrence. Tim Lawrence, Page. Are you um, back at work as normal, mate? Tim AB, I know you're back at work as normal. Will Adams. Get on, Will. Steve Lowry. Get on, Steve. Neil Madiver. Steve, I suppose, uh, what's the situation for you, mate? You're going to be a little while yet. You might, you'll have to update us, actually, when you know what's happening there, because um, I was still going to book maybe for Santander, but obviously, I suppose things are up in the air. But if you know before anyone else does, I'll keep up the lowdown, obviously, mate. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> right, so get that red onion in. Who, sorry, who else did you say after Steve Lowry? Uh, Neil Madiver. Hello, Neil. Neil's up there watching, lying on some sort of floating device, I bet. <laughs> Good, right, so onion's gone in. Pop that one. Quite chunky on the garlic as well. All right, so I'm just going to go down a little slices. Don't need to dice it. If we dice it too small, we'll just burn in the oven, guys. So just, in fact, a little bit kind of chunkier than normal. So whereas I kind of slice it up a little bit smaller. Let's get that garlic in there. So two cloves. Like I said, really easy. Oh, that keeps beeping because it's on the buttons. Pop over and slice through that. Oh. Cool. Another bit of garlic in. Just mix that around the pan. Beautiful. Okay, let's have a look here then. Oh, I'm taking my car out. Hello, Coochie. Hello, Coochie. One, two, three, 
12, oh, I have to use two of my toes then. Right, crack the ends of those, pop them in. That's 12, I'm going to go eight more. So that's say 20. Work that out all on my own. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They can go away. Pop those off, the ends of those. Lovely. They can go in. So I've made a little bed there, look. Nice little bed. So I can lift up all our um, pod up in a minute. Okay, also I've put the beers in the fridge. I should have put the, um, should have got the cod out, shouldn't I? Main ingredient, I haven't got out. Okay, give me two tips. I'm just gonna go to the west wing of the house and get the cod. Okay. Okay, let's pop that cod out. Okay, so I've just got a couple of cod fillets. I'm gonna go down. Lay that on. Okay, so about that size. Move them around. So really high protein, lots of nice good bit of protein in there, not very much fat, well hardly no fat in cod at all. Um, I think for those of you that are watching this morning, the only fats really that you're gonna get from this dish are from the olives. And the palm of ham? The good, oh yeah, of course, the palm of ham, of course. Good bit of Healthy fat though, coming from that. Let's get it all in there. We don't want it all, this needs to be a little bit rustic. Don't want it all kind of looking too smart. It's not what the dish is all about. So I've got six pieces of cod there in total. If your cod's a little bit bigger, you could go a little bit less. If your cod's a bit smaller, you go a little bit more. I'm gonna get all that used. Lovely, so that's all in, beautiful. Okay, let's get rid of the packaging and what we're going to go for next, we're going to go tomatoes. 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sprinkle those about. So the tomatoes are in. Number 10. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, make sure they're spread around the dish, not all sat in one spot. Boom. 20 olives. Oh, someone's been in the olives. I don't know if I'm going to have 20. Who's been snapping at the olives, Brody? Who do you think? <laughs> no, not me. No, not me. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you seven, will have enough. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I think you had a couple drop out there Good. as well. I'm going to use the oil, guys. Don't let that oil go to waste. Loads of flavour in there. Look, they are just. Um, some olives with um, herbs, Spanish olives with herbs. So a little bit of oil and herb, get that in there, don't waste the flavour. Uh, okay, what we're going to go for next? That's done. Okay, I'm going to slice the parma ham open. Okay, I'm just going to go with the parma ham. Coochie says it's roasting up here. Kids have got their summer long johns on. <laughs> Mate, it's absolutely, I'm not just saying it to wind you up, up in the north. It is bloody beautiful. Winter is coming. Do you feel like that, Kitchy? Do you feel like you live in the... Uh, what was it called in Game of Thrones up in the north? What were they called? Up in the Shire. No, not the Shire. That's Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> what was it called? Don't know. West, no, Westeros was down low, wasn't it? That was, that was sad. Westeros is where we live, but it's nice and warm. You live up in... <laughs> What's it called? Okay, guys, I'm going to go. I'm going to see how much. Oh, I'm getting all stuck up here with me Parma ham. Look, I almost died once eating Parma ham. <laughs> True story. Yeah. When, you're eating, when you're eating raw Parma ham, it's not so bad when it's cooked. But when you're eating raw Parma ham, make sure you chew it up properly. Yeah. Good. So just draping it in. It doesn't need to be neat, as you can see. I'm, I'm kind of getting myself all tangled up with it. Just drape it in, that will crisp up in a minute. Loads of flavour from that. Okay, I'm just gonna, oh, come on. It's a bit sticky this, isn't it? Do you know what, I wish I hadn't cut my nails. <laughs> Can't get anything. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go with another pack, but probably not the full pack. Ooh, come all the way through on that one. Probably about half the pack. 
So let's go. A few more people tuned in. Katrina Hello. Hodge. Hello, Katrina Hodge. I saw you in passing the other day, Katrina. You couldn't have missed me. I was in a big van with a big green X on the side of it. <laughs> saw you and Mr. Hodge. Strolling from Waitrose. Uh, Alex Payne. Get on, Alex. Justin, Mr. Bump Allen. Hello, buddy. And Ben May. And Ben May. Who is Ben May? I don't know. I think he goes by a few different names. Ah. <laughs> okay. So, almost there. Two more pieces. Oh, I've got two minutes to keep them in the time, and I said, I think I'll be fine. Because I've only got two more bits to do. A little bit of uh, lemon zest, then a bit of lemon juice, and then I finish it off. A bit of chilli oil. You could go with some garlic oil, guys. If uh, Rosie, you're watching and you've got your garlic oil there, not more than happy with that. Um, I've already got garlic in there, so I'm using chilli oil instead. Okay, let's just go with um, this, the fine grater, all right, for the lemon zest. Which way is it? There you go. Okay, I'm just going to get some lemon zest around on that one. So all you're doing is taking it down to the white pith. Don't go any deeper. And you're just grating that all around. It'll give you a nice, real zesty flavour. Any quizzies on this one? No. It's one of those you could come home. Chuck it, it all in. Over. Chuck it all in. Chuck it all in, yeah. <laughs> prep it in like 10 minutes. Go up, have a shower. Come down, serve. Perfect. Well, if you shower like I do anyway. If you shower like my daughter does, then it would be burnt to a crisp. Or what would you shower, serve yeah. this with? You could. Right, we're going to serve this on its own tonight. Um, just to literally have it in a nice deep dish. Um, on its own. Um, however, couscous is quite a nice accompaniment with this one. Um, maybe some boiled potatoes is quite nice. Uh, roasted boiled potatoes. Yeah, so couscous or, or boiled potatoes, I would say, is a nice accompaniment. Right, okay, give that a nice scratch off the bottom. Make sure you get all that zestiness. Okay, roll your lemon. Let's move that one around. Make sure you get the juices moving. Nice through the middle. Okay, these got pips in these ones, so I pop them out or use your fingers to catch them. Okay, we just say good at catching them. Then I just squeeze that lemon all around. All the leaves are brown and the sky is grey. Okay, get rid of that. California, California dreaming. So juice of one lemon, zest of one lemon. Chili oil. Okay, thumb over. Just give that a drizzle all the way through. Yeah, so you just get a little bit of oil through the dish and finish it off. Not too much salt because the prosciutto or the uh, parma ham is already quite salty. So just a light salting, but then a nice bit of pepper. Yeah, and that will stick to your oil and to your lemon juice that you've just popped in there. It's a nice bit of pepper. Beautiful. There we go. I'm a minute out. God damn it. Lovely. That's going to go in the oven now for 15 minutes, so that will be ready at 29 minutes past. We'll serve that on a nice um, dish. I'll pop a picture up of that dish so you can see what it looks like um, in its dishes. Uh, really good. So tomorrow night, Something chicken. Yeah, garlic chicken. Garlic chicken, garlic chicken was fre um, served with fresh greens. Um, so that's really nice. We're going to do that with um, a little lard of bacon. Um, we're going to do that with some spinach, cream and garlic sauce. That's really cool. Um, and just with vegetables. Uh, we don't generally tend to eat heavy kind of carbohydrate meals when the weather's like this. I don't know about you guys, but I just don't feel like I want it. And uh, as mentioned in earlier kind of um, earlier uh, demos, we're just not generally burning as much uh, energy, calories, as we would normally do when I'm at work. I'm normally on my feet for a good 12, 13 um, hours, exercising a lot more than I, than I am at the minute. Um, so just generally, we don't need as many carbohydrates, okay? See you tomorrow morning, half past nine. I haven't a clue what we're doing in the morning. I've written it up. Um, mm. I can't remember no, either. I can't remember either. But we're doing uh, it in the morning. Keep talking and I'll try and find right, it. Right, hang on, I'll have a look. I'll put it on our Facebook post. 
thing is I post it all up. You look at the camera, I'm just pointing it down. Sorry. Um, I post <laughs> it all up on a, um, on a Sunday, come middle of the week, and I've forgotten what we were, what we were actually doing. But it'll be good. It'll be written tomorrow, it's going to be really good. I'm not a clue what it is, but it's going to be so good tomorrow. <laughs> it's going to be the best session tomorrow. You need to join in. This palm of hands are really nice as well. Oh, I can't, I can't find, find it. it. You can't find it. Don't worry about it, guys. See you in the morning. Um, <laughs> half past nine anyway. Someone probably... Stop pointing that camera all over the place. Someone's <laughs> probably you know, answered you on there now anyway. Someone uh, else probably knows. Else, do you know? Else. She's just tuned in. We're going now, Else. Hang on, hang no, on. I'm tuning in now, Else. Come on, where you been? That's like Simone's, Okay, hang on, hang on. That's like Simone's timings. Thursday, kettlebell. Ah, oh, I knew it was kettlebell. <laughs> I knew it was kettlebell tomorrow. So get your kettlebells out. If you haven't got a kettlebell, get your dumbbells out. If you haven't got a dumbbell, get a sandbag, get a um, get a milk carton, get something you can swing. I've seen paint tins being used, all sorts. Kettlebells are like fucking more shit at the minute. So, um, yeah. Improvise. Improvise, adapt and overcome. You'll have to watch this one back, Hells. You'll like that one. She's you only like just signed. Quick and easy. See you later, guys. Good evening, guys. Bye. Bye.